Hey y'all, how was everybody? Oh, it's been a day. I went to a bigger storage unit and um, yeah, I'm having to move it, my old one to my new one. And it's sort of kind of, it's on the same row, but it's further down. And it's just me moving all this stuff. And so it's like, holy crap. I went to a big girl unit. Um, and I know people are going to think I'm a hoarder, but all this stuff is either cross stitch stuff or my quilting stuff. There is a lot of random stuff, but it, most of the categories is either cross stitch or quilting. And now I have enough room that I can put up shelves and put everything on shelves. So that way, if, uh, if I'm going to work for, on something for that day, then I can go in there and go, okay, I need this and this for today's work. Um, and, and kind of go from there. Um, cause the one I have now, everything's just stacked on top of each other and I can't find crap and I need to be able to find my stuff. Um, cause I can't bring it all here. That's the thing is there's nowhere to put it here. So the room I'm in, I'm only can use the desk. And so whatever I'm doing, I need to have it done for that day. The only thing that stays here permanently is my um pandemic sampler the other stuff goes back and forth um and i don't even know what i'm about to to, to do with this because i have this still here i'm still working on this it's supposed to be a wrap but y'all it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but I just feel like I'm at a standstill with it. I have no desire to finish it. I've only got that much yarn, and I'm just like, I don't even wanna deal with it. I don't, but I need to do something with it. So, I don't know. What we got there? Um, I went ahead and ordered a metal loom with loops um i found it pretty cheap i was going to order it from harrisville designs but i went to etsy and i found it cheaper and i found the loops cheaper now the loops have to be cotton or a wool blend because it's going to get hot a lot of these people that uh, manufacture these these looms and loops use it as a toy so their loops are like burnable does that make a sense is that a word like they'll burn up they will they'll burn up that's what we call it in texas burn up <laughs> so you've got to pay attention and use cotton or wool blend so anyway and i got a new phone case i had to get a new phone case because my other one just and i got it from amazon so and it opens up to a wallet but I'm not going to put my wallet in there. Because um, I have my own wallet. Because if I lose my phone, I lose my driver's license, everything in it. So, I don't want to do that. My phone's just a cheap Cricut wireless phone. I mean, it's one of the better ones in the place. But it's not like my Samsung Galaxy, which I love. I just couldn't continue to pay $1,400 for this phone. So I went to this one and it was a lot cheaper back when I got it. And it's been a while since I had this one. So anyway, let me show you Pandemic. It shows, you know, there's a lot of, um, not a lot of progress, but I just keep showing it. So, yeah. So... I, I can't wait to see what Becky pulls up because I know it's going to be good. Her her choices, she worked out really well, really, really well. And her and I had a conversation because we text pretty regular. And I was talking to her about my hate. I said, I just don't know what to do. I don't know if it's the fabric selection. I don't know if it's just the heavy amount I wish I could show y'all the first page because the first page is just 
one stitch of one color and then one stitch and then one stitch and then there might be like two or three stitches of one color and my count is off too I've already got off count somewhere and then not just a little way a big way so I need to figure out how to get page one I don't know if they'll re send me page one or if I gotta buy the pattern again digital I should have bought the digital pattern to begin with and then that way I could have printed it when I needed it I didn't think about that okay sometimes the brain just doesn't work so anyway it is what it is but um, I want to do it the Hade heaven and earth design but y'all my I get anxiety and chest pain just thinking about it like I get a tightness in my chest just thinking about it um, I know so many people are rooting for me to do that one and I really want to do a heaven and earth designs now I did find out that they have a quick stitch one and mini stitch one and quick stitch and mini stitch are supposed to be way, 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 way smaller. Like 200s by 300s. Now, when I went to look at those, remember the gypsy one that I wanted to do? That's real heavy in the in the dark colors, but she's uh, in a gypsy wagon. Well, they have that one. And I... I don't know if I want to order another heaven and earth design because then I got to start all over with fabric and floss or I just cut out the section of fabric I've used um, for my um, original heaven and earth like the section that I used just cut straight across or whatever but here's what I really want to do here's what I really want to do is I want to do some smaller stuff all I've done since I started cross stitching is these big ass pieces that aren't getting done that may never get done and I just want something small I have my patterns with me now and um, I was gonna print off the digital magazines that I got remember somebody um, donated the money uh, to get uh, several um, digital magazines I have Halloween stuff and I went to print them off using Office Depot presentation but even double-sided they're gonna be hundred and sixteen pages so what I think I need to do is go to the library and print off the pages that I really would like to do that are the smalls and try to start working on some small stuff because I just I want to feel like I'm actually getting stuff accomplished instead of being in a cycle of all these projects that will never get done or won't get done in my lifetime. I may live forever I don't know but I just feel like I'm not making progress and that burns my ass really bad that I'm not making any progress with anything and I just I would like to start making that progress to have something to show saying hey look I finished a piece I have a lot of stuff and cross it cro crochet that I've completed that I'm really proud of but I want that in cross stitch does it make sense I, I know you're like come on sunshine with it already I know guys I know but y'all are like my sounding board y'all are y'all are my y'all put up with me thinking out loud and I appreciate that um, but that's what I'm thinking is I, is I you know I've always wanted to do the Halloween tree a black Christmas tree with purple lights well I, I should on these magazines I've got some that are Chris are Halloween ornaments or go to the library and just start printing out Halloween ornaments 
do it that way, you know. Um, maybe even do some Christmas ones because I would love to send Christmas cards with a little cro uh, cross stitch piece, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I got my knitting machine and did two hats. This one's too long, but I don't care. Somebody will enjoy it. And I didn't do a brim. I just let it roll up. Um, one of my commenters says to just let the, don't worry about the brim. And that was a pretty decent idea. I just hate the way that it rolls. I, I don't like it like that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I did on my knitting loom, the manual one, I saw a video says if you do one round of two, pearl or two rounds of pearl, you know, if you put in pearl with your knit stitch, it won't roll up. So that's what I did on the, on the manual loom. And so this one doesn't have a brim. It's straight down, but you can see where it's been knitted, but, um, or pearled or whatever it's called. Um, and I'm okay with this one. I'm okay with that. So, a hat's a hat. And I think they're going to be grateful for whatever that I can give. Because um, those are going to Aunt Mel's and Miss Karen. Um, Aunt Mel is in Ohio, up north. And um, I've worked with her before, and I love her to death. And... Um, she does the hats for homeless. Miss Karen puts the hats in her um, son's police car and gives them out that away. So with those two, I want to make sure they got plenty of hats this year. Um, I've been slacking the last couple years and I want to really make it happen this year. So anyway, y'all, I didn't notice it's now 12 minutes. I'm sorry that I've taken up so much of your time. Um, I know some of y'all don't care. I can ramble till the cows come home. And some of y'all like, we ain't got time for this sunshine. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you know I love y'all. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And take care. And be blessed and bless others.